The four-step method to high-performance trading and the seven-step daily routine for high-performance traders are both free downloads. The four-step method for high-performance trading is about de developing the mindset and the routines to increase your competence and your ability to execute your trading edge in a live trading environment. Constant progress. Seven-step daily routine for high-performance traders is an audio program download designed to help traders bulletproof their day-to-day -day habits, discipline, and develop a winning mindset. Again, the link is in the description box below. They're free downloads. Let's get started. G'day traders, Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. A short technical video and a mindset reset following up on what we just went through recently regarding the calendar, but also just sticking to the basic model, three-day setups, three-session setups, understanding the opening range and initial balance, but more importantly, the signal days when a week begins, first red day, first green day, three days of breakout traders in the markets, inside day signals, and then building our thesis for best candidates based on this information, breakout traders in the markets, inside days, signals that can help point us in a direction after major red news has been developed for parabolic scalable five-star trading setup opportunities. Now, just looking at this week, CPI, one of the big high impact uh, major red news releases on the calendar this week, and one of the monthly cyclical ones that has a high impact on this week, and PPI on Thursday. And when we have this type of weekly uh, calendar, it's important to understand front side and back side, how the templates can build. Friday being the closing range of the week. Monday, the new day one, the opening range in a new week. That sets our initial high and low heading into our new week and helps us form our thesis as the front side of that week evolves. Day two typically expands the range. Wednesday, day three is the midpoint range of the week and resets to a day one into the back side of the week. On Thursday, we can typically see range reversal trading setups, but also range expansion setups in a market that is strongly trending. And of course, Friday, day three, the closing range of the week. The day that closes out the week, Monday opens the week, Wednesday's the midpoint range of the week, and Friday closes out the week. And then understanding how does price behave on the day in the session that we're trading. We can have a signal day, three days of breakout traders in the markets. And in our Asian session, we have an Asian pair, the US yen, pumping up, breaking one more time into the high of day, high of week level before reversing and giving traders a shorting parabolic opportunity in a market that was three days of breakout traders. What does a well-engineered template look like on the day? What can alert us to an instrument being a best trade candidate? Timings, levels, behavior of price. Sitting on our hands and waiting and mapping out instruments in terms of where they're at, not only in the monthly cycle, but also in our weekly cycle. And then how does price behave on the day? We have three days of breakout traders, a signal day, a parabolic opportunity or reversal trade in the closing range of the week, a new month beginning. We have breakout traders triggered into the markets, higher highs. A break in structure is when a daily level is broken on the other side. If you're inside of ranges, you're missing the larger time frame template thesis that is potentially building for an instrument to offer you a parabolic best trade candidate setup in the session that you're trading. Not for a catching a move or grabbing some pips, but a scalable all in opportunity that's an ACB. An ACB is a market that is not coming back because it's on a range expansion and understanding when not to counter trend a market that is now got other higher time frame traders driving these moves. So if you're inside these little bars trying to catch a high and catch a low, you're missing the bigger time frame thesis. Higher time frames driving these larger moves. Day one, day two, day three. Three days of breakout traders in the markets. Day one, day two, day three. A session trade or a new month beginning and high impact news knowing when you can sell the high of the day. Not trying to counter trend a market still on the front side and expanding the range. And then when a market may potentially now be flipping the book or reversing, when has a low hanging fruit opportunity in the market, a market that breaks out, 
pulls back, but is now going to continue the range expansion for an all-in opportunity. And then the cycle begins again, day one, day two, day three, day one, high impact, major red news, potentially being a catalyst. And then a market that is now expanding the range on the opposite side. Do not try and buy the low of the day. Trying to catch a falling knife is a great way to blow up your account. Understand when you want to be selling with higher time frames and when you want to be buying with higher time frames. And when you have a market that is potentially building a bigger template up related to the timing cycle and sticking to your plan. There is nothing new under the sun, but it's not on these little zigzaggy little blocks and gaps and sweeps and hunts. The larger time frame thesis is where markets are going to be driven from one side of a range to another, allowing traders scalable five-star opportunities. Timing cycle, new month, new week, day one, day two, day three, signal days, double inside days. Don't try to catch the high in a market that is now on a range expansion, gapping up, breakout traders driving the move, a new timing cycle, an opportunity for a three session setup as a new week begins. High of the month, high of the day, high of the week, timings, levels, behavior of price. Building your muscle memory means exactly that, knowing what a well-engineered chart looks like that is scalable in size and opportunity and knowing which markets to avoid even though you might be able to trade them and catch the high or catch the low and grab a move is that really the type of trade setup that you're hunting for or are you looking for scalable opportunities don't get fixated on one market trying to be a genius getting the high and getting the low and holding on to something that's going to zigzag back and forth that you could never put size onto and differentiating that from a very, very well engineered template that is scalable in size that rinses and repeats opportunities for markets that will significantly compound your trading account. Knowing when to avoid days that have very low edge or low probability and are not well engineered for five star parabolic opportunities. Trying to trade the same market every day is a great way to maybe put yourself under a lot of stress and potentially even blow up your account. There are setups and days where it's easy to make a lot of money on. And those are the types of opportunities that you want to be hunting, regardless of the instrument. Science projects are doable, but are they really scalable? Are these the type of days that you want to be trading an instrument on? Or do you understand when the setups and the days are there for you to significantly compound your account and the markets are ACB, they're not coming back. And if there's high impact major red news on the calendar, sitting on your hands and waiting, letting the market digest that news to confirm your thesis and then positioning yourself in the market, managing your risk and allowing that trade to play out. It doesn't matter what market it is, if there are buyers and sellers and people involved and money involved, then the playbook setups are relevant to any market. Timings, levels, behavior of price, our basic model for trade entry criteria, page 29. This is crypto, doesn't matter what market it is. Keep it simple, stick to the plan, basic model for three day setups, three session setups, understanding the opening range, initial balance, and then hunting out candidates that offer you scalable five-star parabolic opportunities, whether they're session trades or all in three day, three session setups that can significantly compound your account. And when the market gives you a five star all in opportunity, understand what these templates look like, understand how to build that template, be sitting on your hands, the patience, the patience for a best playbook trade setup to evolve and build into a scalable five star opportunity. You make a lot of money on the setups and the days where it's easy to make a lot of money on. Stick to playbook best trade candidate setups, sit on your hands, make trading a pursuit of pleasure, zero stress, zero emotion, zero thinking, and this is a classic example of zero trade management. Set and forget, walk away, lock in the money, and get off the screen. Have a great day traders, we have CPI this week, we have other major red news on the schedule, 
What are you hunting? What setup have you mastered? What setup are you hunting? Have a great day and may the markets go with you.